The Immortal John Hancock here. Every now and then I have the opportunity to kind of expand what I like to review and interesting product came my way and it's by a company called Goo Bang Do. That is the name of it. And a uh, pretty interesting product. So they sent it to me and you know it's it looks just like a DVD player but on the back of it it comes with a game controller. And I was told that this does play some classic video games on it. I'm like, well, that's interesting. And so I want to check this out. I'm going to unbox it and kind of see what it can actually play, if it plays anything, and uh, kind of talk about it. So let's check it out together. All right, here it is. The Goo Bang Do Portable EVD Player, model EVD1. And uh, there you go. There's a pack simple packaging. And there you go, it's uh, just some basic information on the back. I'm gonna test the video features. And you know, it comes with a car charger, that's pretty cool, power adapter, and the game controller. Pretty interesting. So we're gonna check this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing now. And... Probably is trying to be your your basic and you got your warranty cards simple information and there you go it's like a tiny little Sega Genesis controller. Interesting. Oh man. Little USB controller. That is tiny. Weird. Okay, that's a controller. That is really weird. Okay. Got that. And this is the cable. I wonder if it will play with other USB controllers. Huh. Interesting. Okay, have that. Kind of comes with your standard remote. Pretty light as well. Like that it comes with a car charger. And AV cables. And power brick. And I don't like these type of power bricks. I mean, it'll work. I like the ones where you can fit other things into your your uh, your wall, but that's okay. There you go. All right, let's open up the actual unit and came in this like protective like bubble. That's pretty cool. Definitely, definitely. Uh, that's kind of neat. This thing's a decent size. I was noticing. This isn't like your normal like portable DVD players. This thing's a little beefier, a little, little beefier. And uh, look here, that's a pretty decent size here. All right, that is pretty good size. Just to put in comparison, let's compare it with uh, let's compare it with an Atari 2600 box. Okay, this is Atari 2600 box, and that's pretty good size. Definitely wanted to show that. All right, let's open this up here. Figure out how to open this up. Whoa, that's that's large. <laughs> All right, that's large. You got here. You get different modes: channel, forward, mute, volume, audio, menu, setup, DVD, USB, standard disc, and yeah, interesting. Cool. All right. Side here, you can see where you can put the uh, your card, which I'm going to be doing, and kind of see what it can do. Can it play games? I'm going to find that out. Let's see here. All right. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, other thing. Good thing to note. It's got a swivel. Very cool if you have limited space. Again, you know, this this might be really nice, like, 
check out you know you can use this for classic games you know it does have the AV in and I love that and pretty cool that you can be able to do that and I think that's pretty pretty sweet so definitely a way to uh, play some classic games and let's check out the actual player let's do it wanted to show you the screen the screens pretty nice and you know plays standard DVDs also plays burns I was able not able to load any movies off my USB drive but I'm sure if I formatted it the right way it would play it again that's kind of a cool feature and uh, DVD player is kind of loud as you can probably hear it but you know with the console the player itself is kind of light it's supposed to last eight hours on a on a on a charge and so I c c currently have it charged in the wall and and I don't know I haven't tested how long the the charges last uh, the the remote is small and compact it comes with it and it does work that's a nice feature I think and so that's working there great my batteries aren't the best in this uh, remote it does have I do believe uh, like like any remote has to have line of sight on the player to work um, it's not like Bluetooth or anything all right for the moment of truth let's check out the game player all right once you insert the SD card uh, a menu will come up and then you can choose your ROM again uh, the menu is not you can't navigate it with the remote and as far as I can tell you can't have a volume control on this menu as well you have to get out to the main menu and then adjust the volume that way that's kind of annoying so using the uh, actual player you go down to where you want to get load your ROM and what you can see is this plays Nintendo ROMs, which is just kind of weird, a DVD player that plays Nintendo ROMs. It's just that's just bizarre. And again, it does play, it does play homebrews. I got it to play Calix Gamers. I got it to play Tortoises, but not full speed, and I'm really kind of bummed about that. So let's go down to Popeye. Sounds a little bit off too. Want to notice that uh, there's like a delay in the sound. Controller's okay. It's just kind of squishy. So I don't know if the ROM is not op this the player is not optimized, but it's just not playing at a full speed. I don't know what's going on there. I was playing it. So then you go, if you press stop, you can go right back to another ROM and then go up. And uh, here's Choplifter. And uh, I think Galaxian is another one that shows kind of, I just don't think this is playing full speed. And, and definitely on. So the reason why I can tell that is I can go up to Calix Gamer's Second Adventure, and this it's cool. Like it's cool that it plays this awesome game, but it's not playing at full speed, and that's where I've kind of like ah, bummer. Yeah, it's just a little slow. Yeah, see the slowdown? Uh now this is a this is a homebrew, so like I get it, but 
Yeah, that's that's uh, that's disappointing. So there you have it. Pretty interesting product. I'm a little disappointed with some of the things, some of the shortcomings. You know, I of 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 the things. I think the the bigger complaint would be only a one controller that that comes with it that's plugged in the back. The controller short, uh, not being able to have any two player games. Only having Famicom games and the the, uh, the uh, emulator isn't optimized. So. You know, if there's a way to fix those things, I would be more on board with this product just because, you know, if, if you're going to have it play video games and have it come with a controller, at least have those games play optimally. I just, I think in, in this day and age, um, you know, in 2017 with so many ways of playing video games, you know, that's just uh, unacceptable in my opinion. But anyways, as a DVD player, I was able to play anything I threw at it. Um, burns and movies and stuff it's it's a nice actual player a little light um, but it supposedly lasts you know up to eight hours it'd be great for like on a trip or something people people uh, watching movies you know I have I have young kids so I'm probably gonna use this as a DVD player on long trips but as a game player combo oh yeah not gonna recommend it for that anyways if you're interested in this product the link is below and I want to thank everybody who watches this channel and thank you for uh, all the positive support and thank you so much. Look forward to do some awesome stuff this holiday. This is the immortal John Hancock doing three videos a week, one on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. You take care.